Hey YouTube, what's going on? Zero Magnamax here. This is a big Vanguard update, okay? First, I'm gonna go over the update of the Royal Paladins. Alright. Vanguard Binder. The updates to the Grand Blue deck. A secondary deck that my fiance and I, I may want to, you know, try out. And that, just as a quick note, is banded by different clans. Aside from one of them, which is a lot of the smaller clans that we have extras of. But this is a stack of Vanguard cards we have of commons and stuff. So, that is that. Just wanted to say in case anyone's like, oh, well, okay, he's got quite a collection. Yeah, I do. I've been buying boosters like crazy while well, my fiance and I have. So, there's that. Okay. First up, Royal Paladin deck. This is all starter stuff. Okay, these are the upgrades I've made. Okay, first we have, it's no, in no particular order, to Akani, because I don't have Barco or anything like that. That's still my starting Vanguard. I didn't get that lucky, even though we basically bought my Walmart out. Um, a Pongle, we only got one of him. I have four Gordon in there, so, let's see, that I've added. I'm trying one of him, even though I have two, just to see how he functions. Okay, two pack wingle. Different triggers I'm using, which it'll explain a little bit here whenever you see the rest of that. Or these four. And then I put two of these in because they're stand triggers, which are pretty good. So I like them. And they have 10,000 shield. Alright. Now. This is mostly trial stuff. I'm not going to go over the full profile because the thing is, I'm not planning on running Paladins. I'm planning on running Grand Blues. So, this stuff for a good enough trade or for a good enough deal is for trade. Just want to let you guys know. Okay, first we have one Soul Saver Dragon. I only was lucky enough to get one. I don't have any Offreds. So, I have this guy. Got him, which is pretty useful. Okay, I have four blaster blades. I kid you not, we bought the packs and in the one box, there are three of these guys. I don't know if he's common or not, but there is $30. <laughs> As is. And then we have two young Pegasus. So I have that stack. I'm mostly looking for grand blue cards. Uh, if you guys want to know which ones, feel free to PM me. Okay, I'm going to go over the grand blue deck. Okay, Guiding Zombie, which I got today, actually. Uh, three Dandy Guys. I have a trade coming in with more of those in. Okay, three Evil Shades. I don't think I want to run that many. I think I'm going to put the Dandy Guy in and only run two. One Ruin Shade. I want a playset of her to test her out, but she's really expensive. Th these aren't in any, in any particular order, so I apologize. Okay, one Necromaro, I think his name is. Yeah, Necromaro. So I want another one or two of him. He seems pretty good. I want two more of Spirit Exceeds for the deck. So that's the upgrade. I'm probably only going to run one, maybe two of Baskirk because his, realistically, his huge move for the huge Counter Blast is probably going to be kind of slow because you have to be able to Counter Blast five. And then you have to be able to uh, Soul Blast for 8. Just to return all units to your rear guards, that can be a very steep price to build around him. I think I'd much rather build around Spirit Exceed. One Monster Frank, which is another card that I, I want to build around. Because, I mean, you can Counter Blast 3. If you have a Grade 2, you ride it. I mean, that's pretty good from the drop zone. You ditch him in and he's on. He's an instant Grade 3. So, and they're not bad uh, grade 3's to go on e either side. I need a play set of him. He's the only one I have. He's like the most important, I think, grade 2 in the deck. I want two more of him. I'm probably only going to run three perfect guards in the deck because a lot of it abuses the graveyard. So you generally are able to... You, you don't need to guard as much on your rear guards because you can intercept a lot and then just get your guys back. So I think three is the right number for that. I have these. I'm going to put a set of these in whenever I get more. I have more coming in the mail through trade. I have three chappies. 
I want um, a fourth one to try out. Three might be the right number. Uh, this being focused on what I wanted to be a Spirit Exceed deck, I have four of the Samurai Spirits. I now have four Commodore Blue Bloods, which is pretty sweet, actually. I'm very happy about that. It's funny, I think we pulled three of them today. It was kind of nutty. Okay, we have these guys, four of them. And four Night Spirit. And four of her. And four Rick the Ghosty. Okay, so that's a Grand Blue. It's very close to completion. It just needs a few of the bells and whistles and it'll be done. Which I'm very, very happy about. If you guys do want to do trades for me for this, you've got to send first, if I, especially if I've not traded with you in the past. Okay, binder update. I'm not going to go over the Pokemon stuff because so far one person expressed interest, so that's already traded. Whenever I get his trade in, I'm going to be sending it off, so I'm just going to go to the Vanguard stuff. In case anybody needs anything. Of course for trade that means. We did get Spike Brothers uh, Zero Grade Shield which is pretty cool. I wish it would have been uh, another Gus Gen, but what can you do. We have three Mr. Invincibles and we got the starting Vanguard for the deck. And then we have these guys. Another Brutal Jack. This guy is SP actually. So we were lucky enough to score one of them. And I found out he's like 20 bucks. Which is surprising. I didn't... Okay, I guess SPs are like a cross between Secret Rare and Ghoster or something. And that there's only one in every... Uh, it's like seven boxes or something. So it's pretty cool we got that. Too bad it wasn't a higher rarity sought after card because it'd be worth money. But... It's there if you guys want it. It's cool with SP. So, and I have another one, the Paladin in, and then this Kagero guy that I think my fiance is only running one of because it's not that good. It's very specific. It targets, I believe, yeah, a grade one rear guard. So, I don't know. I mean, that helps get rid of boosters. That's about what it does. In in a deck like Grand Blues, I don't see that being too useful. Anyway. That's the collection, and I know this video is like 8 minutes long, but it was two deck profiles and a binder. <laughs> so let me go, uh, let me know what you guys think. Sorry for blabbering on. It's, you know, 1 a.m. <laughs> kind of tired. But I'm looking to complete the Grand Blues. I want that to be my primary deck, and I hope you guys will talk to me, trade with me. Let me know if you guys want to see Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Um... Like I said, you guys basically died. So, in this card game, I personally like it. I'm going to stick with. And I hope it gets a following. And I hope there ends up being, like, regional tournaments and stuff. That'd be really cool. And I'd love to go and compete. And if there's, like, an online game that is free, I would love to compete online and try my hand at it and see what it where it leads because I really like the game a whole lot and I suggest it for anyone looking to pick up a new TCG give this game support. Alright guys nine minutes and I'm sorry but it is what it is. Peace YouTube